Solaris AI is uh, questionable at best. However, the most popular AI mod, Starnet, aims to fix this, not by cheating in more resources like the difficulty settings do, but using better logic for a more realistic galaxy. In today's video, we'll be testing just that using Patreon submitted empires with their own unique playstyles and themes. Will the AI play into these? Will the galaxy feel more alive? And can this improved AI take on the monumental task of taking on a five times crisis at year 100? Let's find out. These are the settings we'll be rocking a medium galaxy. Let's try out cartwheel, because why not? 18 empires, no advance this time, and kind of just standard settings. If you wonder how I do these videos, I just load in as an empire that I want in the game, and then I just click the console button, which is the weird one above tab and then just type observe now we observe so here we are this galaxy is populated with maybe some cursed choke points like this fallen empire has three systems we're kind of boxed in right next to a marauder empire but that is it's just cartwheel things and let's have a look at one of the empires we'll go with protocol droids because i mean i made them so the first thing they're doing is clearing the settlement and then they're building a science ship straight away now i'm not sure how different this is to normal they've also instantly built a construction ship which is interesting if they put these side ships to work and the construction ship a lot better than the current ai they just build a bunch of civilian ships and not use them so that did just give them an extra pop they are working all of the maintenance drone jobs which is not ideal oh stay at starnet ai construction decision workaround so what reduces soldier jobs i am deeply confused oh now stuff's kicking in so they're disabling maintenance drone jobs with modifiers so that they don't work them because the ai just wants to work maintenance drone. so now they're actually working all of the other jobs which is very good and look how many science ships they have all serving which is quite good you can expand they haven't gone a tradition they're valuing scientists over traditions to start with the construction ships aren't really doing much yet and they are building industrial districts to start so they are valuing also not working those maintenance student jobs and just having unemployed i mean there are 100 stability so it doesn't really matter and they're just forcing everything into alloy jobs which is quite good let's have a look at the royal mail what are you doing they've got criminal underworld and they're just clearing blockers at the minute they've also just spammed out science ships and they've also valued not taking a tradition so it looks like they very much favor expiration early on and expansion which kind of makes sense like the dwarves are also doing that yep bunch of science ships no traditions they're building alloy foundries so they're all valuing like alloys and expiration which kind of makes sense maybe if tech would be nice what can you do i don't know five years in people are expanded very quickly let's see the inari council what are they doing they're on one world they're just clearing blockers everyone is favoring clearing blockers they have been popping um minor artifact decisions they also have unspent civics why do they have no civic <laughs> i don't know why they don't have civics but okay yeah, it's like blockers and science ships look at this my gosh and they're also doing the anomalies interesting they are building the colony ship and they've already colonized one planet so it's not awful it's the same story for pretty much everyone here and they are using their starnet uh, ai maintenance drone disabler which makes sense you don't need mass amount of amenities it makes it more efficient this the great reef have gone prosperity but they do have a bunch of science ships prosperity is a very good tradition helps them build up quicker stop what you're doing subscribe now i know you're not just it's fine i'm not gonna say anything about it just subscribe and then we can get on with the video okay thank you play the video so the chat gpt sentient network are minus unity they're um machine introspective static research analysis because they've spammed science ships scientists have upkeep and they're just getting minus 20 stability i mean it doesn't really matter but they're just they're not even building anything even they have 7.6 thousand minerals and have not built any open job slots i mean they don't have many free jobs but that's probably why they're just working rep is. and now they've somehow magically fixed their unity what did they do yeah they're just building industrial districts the usual so we do have a fanatic purifier steve's entourage i oh, know they're a devouring swarm sorry they're very low down they have 1.2k they've built three anchorages they have five six planets what and they're spamming research now industrial on this world why are these planets so weird what's going on like why do they have no districts here very odd they've gone discovery now prosperity executive figure are they using any edict they're not using any edicts but they've gone for edict fund they could get research subsidies at least it's a bit more research output but okay this game is cursed lastly dwarfs has also got executive vigor and also don't activate any edicts hmm. well we can see that there's some questionable decision i don't know how much of this is vanilla code or starnet every empire is going executive vigor and not activating edicts what yep 
literally, it's the same for everyone. The Chosen Empire have gone supremacy, though, so they could be dangerous. Okay, 20 years in, we do see a bunch of wars kicking off. Steve's Entourage is fighting the Immortal Republic. Steve's Entourage is 7.9, Immortal 3.2. Steve and Dot Death stacking. They have decent ships with UV lasers and missiles. Pretty good early game. Would be better just to go full mit missiles, but it's fine. Looks like Steve's Entourage will win that war. The Great Reef are currently at war with the Chosen Empire. Chosen have 9k, Great Reef have 2.5, and the Plasonic Psionics are preparing war against them. That is not good. The Chosen Empire rock in Corvettes. Two missiles, one laser. Would be better just to be full missiles, but can't win them all. And the Steedy infected systems are currently at war with the campus at fishmongers as an end right oh no the all didn't update it's just a humiliation war so no side's gonna get anything the fishmongers do have a dragon so good luck winning that war they did try and just fight him actually because he's healing yeah good luck with that the fishmongers are second and they're just gonna be chilling okay 25 years in steve is still at war they're just slowly going through the immortal republic the immortal republic have 3.9k steve's on of 11 but i don't know where all those fleets are they can take out the mini fleets that the immortal republic are sending well you'd think they can no they will they've got full destroyers it's very close mainly because steve is running like mixed fleet here oh my gosh this is so close Oh, they just got reinforcements, the Immortal Republic. The Immortal Republic actually won that. <laughs> That's what happens because the Immortal Republic have full missiles or more missiles, at least, than Steve. Really, Steve. Yeah, all of Steve's fleets are just camped back. At the minute, we're not seeing too much of a difference in terms of war. Economy slightly different, but they still don't death stack. They still don't take advantage of their neighbors. Sonic Psionic and Great Reef are now going at it. The Great Reef, I think, maybe lost to the Chosen. I can't really tell. Yeah, they lost because they're humiliated. Was it worth it, Chosen Empire, just to humiliate them? The Great Reef have 4.5k to the 4.2k for Sonic Psionic. Very, very close battle. Currently, the Great Reef are winning. They are death stacked up, kind of. They have one fleet over here, but... What can you do? And I think Estidi won the war. Yeah, Estidi humiliated the fishmongers. How worth it was that? Currently, we do have the Nova Romanian, a crusading spirit empire with 19,000 fleet power. They have nine planets who are under one rule. Caesar is becoming very strong. And that's tech crushing. Look at this for a planet. Mass tech. They got their generator worlds. I am very confused by these planets. Have I messed something up? Why, why do most of these planets not have mineral and food districts might be something with starnet because they don't need more food and minerals i don't know they're getting 262 from stations what the hell why why do they get oh, why are they getting 15 from each planet Grand Admiral does give 100 percent more from mining stations but is it 15 is that what oh, this is mad it's not like it's just there either okay oh that wasn't even the bright empire too this nova romanian has way way more minerals as well from stations what? They're also good in supremacy. I am confusion. We are now at year 30. A lot of the wars have ended. Steve Entourage took a bit of a mortal republic, but not a lot. Great Reef. Think they won. Yeah, they humiliated Psionics. Cadaver are us are now at war with Immortal Republic. Poor Immortal Republic. They have 9k. The Immortal Republic have 5. It's weird that there's still wars. Like, this is a megacorp. I know they're authoritarian, but really they'd be wanting to make friends and they're just humiliating. What is the point? <laughs> what? Okay. Like, this. Megacorp have no branch officers currently. I mean, they do have Steve Entourage on their border, but this is your friend. Why would you not be friends with a more Republic? They're fanatic Xenophile too. Oh dear. Chat GPT sentient network is at war with the Sciadite hyper evolutionary research fields. 8k versus 11. Oh, Chat GPT might get annihilated here. Not looking good. Now, the Royal Mail I know is a Megacorp. Are they doing Megacorp things? Please be doing Megacorp things. Fanatic materialist Xenophile. Wait, they're not? Why are the Royal Mail? I swear the Royal Mail would. What? Okay, they weren't mega cool. I just assume Royal Mail were. The Nova Romania are just saying here. I'm surprised they're not going to war. The Crusade people. Play into your stuff. Come on, game. It's okay, so all the wars are over now. Jack GPT have max energy, max minerals, no unity. What is going on? They have worlds. They have the building slots. They can easily fix this. They're just spamming alloys. Oh dear. So I never actually used Starnet. So I, I thought they were very, very strong AI, but I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, they do have some do have lots of fleets 26k 35k 37k 35 years in that is a lot but i don't know what their decision making is <laughs> it's very odd maybe it wasn't designed galaxy to be simulated without a human player maybe they interact better with human diplomacy but yeah this is 
this is weird. So this planet does actually have minerals, but no, no city district or food. I am, oh no, these planets have, what? The, am I being dumb? Let me know in the comments. Okay, 40 years in, we have a war. My beloved broken droids. This is cadaver, I asked 21k on each side. Nothing to be, okay. Okay, no, this is something new. The AI just spamming ships when they're way over their naval cap, but they have a lot of alloys and energy. They're actually in deficit. Hmm, they could, <sighs> whoa, this is, they're going to supremacy. They've also gone executive vigor like every single other AI. And I'm not using any edicts. Capacity subsidies are so good on machines, especially when you have lots of energy jobs. But yeah, Cadaver Arthur in the north. Vocal droids are wiping the floor with them. Where are your fleets, Cadaver? Oh, nope. They're going in piece by piece. And Vocal droids have death stacked up with a bunch of corvettes, missiles. Tier 1, Genetics Tier 1, yep, just standard stuff, and they're running away. But this war, again, humiliation. You have max influence, you could have claimed them. I mean, you are a rogue servitor, so maybe that's why they didn't. But I'm just confused. I'm deeply confused. And there's no sign of any megacorp actions. What is happening? Like, for someone to be at war constantly, Nova Remedium with 60k, with Crusader Spirit, surrounded by empires that, you know, are not what they would like, but they're not. What are they doing with envoys? They are harming relations with Royal Mail and spying on them. That's, okay, makes sense. But also, Steve's been very quiet with 61k. These are devouring swarms. They've done one war. They are going to supremacy now. Oh my god. They've gone gone grass the void now. They are making use of star bases. At least they're using one of their ascension picks. They're terraforming. They have so many ships that they could upgrade, but they're not. They are making use of their allies, though, at least. They're not maxed out. Okay, the war is over. Did Procol Droid win? No, they lost. How did they lose? I guess they just got pushed back once they actually hit their fleets. We are in peace. What a weird game. They are high aggressiveness, too. New Romanian still building up. They're not even... They're only slightly over the naval cap. They're just building. Like, these planets are so odd. Also, they've actually distributed luxury goods on every planet, which makes sense when you have 14,000. Why not? Maybe you just chill on the consumer good production, you know? Oh, they've made their capital a factory capital too. Okay. I mean, they have a lot of forge worlds. And they're just spamming ships as much as they can. They have 1k science. The techs are okay. Oh my gosh, what the hell is this? What is this? Tier 2 ore cannon. Tier 4 x-ray. Tier 3 missile. <laughs> Why? and they're not even using the A slot. I mean, they don't have the power for it. I'm deeply confused. There's no community as well. We are now at year 50. No wars, no community. Everyone's just chilling. I thought the galaxy was going to be alive. There's going to be federations, vassalage. I don't think anyone's anyone back. Oh, my saying? Is that a sentence? I don't think anybody is anyone else's vassal too. So they've got migration and tech. The chosen them by are doing like migration, tech, agreement, and they're harming other people's relations. But like, they're not doing anything else. Very weird. Fishmongers are in first. 1k tech. They are gonna have a result here. Oh, they're slaving. What pops are these? Wait, where did they get these slaves from? This could be fixed if they just moved their uh, their normal pops over to be rulers here. It would increase the stability. And still nothing. Even though Steve's on to just 100k, which is way more than their neighbors here. What is going on? <laughs> Has Starnet made the AI worse here? They have 14 spare jobs. At this point, you'd probably want to work the maintenance drones. They can even upgrade that. Okay, they are upgrading. As, as I say that. They're just tech rushing. And then they have just unification centers with nothing on. I mean, they may have just settled them. And they've got a governor on each planet. What is, what is happening? Fishmongers now have two planets that are rebelling. What the hell? 16 unemployed. Yeah, you probably do want to build some things. Year 60. Nothing happening. <laughs> what? Steve's entourage now at 140k. Do something. You're, you're a devouring swarm. <laughs> what? I mean, they are building ships. They are doing that. They don't have much. Like, they're using all the their alloys. They have four shipyards. They're just spamming out cruisers now. What's their designs? Um, yeah, that's something. The line is <laughs> with auto cannons on. Yeah, 65. Nothing. I feel like I've done something wrong. <laughs> what? Royal Mail are expanding through wormholes. They're all kind of just doing their thing, not really interfering with each other. Like, their economies are pretty good. That could be a bit higher. Really? Are they fighting the Marauder Empire? What's going on here? I don't think they are. The Nova Romanian got space <laughs> between them. But what? How did this happen? I don't even know. At this point, I'm very confused. The simulation is cursed, and I don't know what's going to happen at all. Okay, year 70. We have got the community, but no wars. I'm trying to form the galactic market. Everyone's on board with that. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. Okay, year 80. We skipped ahead a little bit more. Nothing. Nothing at all. 
Oh, what is happening? Steve's on charge 140k still. They kind of maxed out. They need to expand. You're a devouring swarm. Do something. They've called their, their node. I don't know why. So now they're all starting to spam like habitats. So who needs to expand when you have habitats? They're just reducing maybe drone workers. Yeah, that's interesting. The Steve, the devouring swarm that's playing tall. <laughs> and they're all going like the same ascension picks too. Rafts the void, Dictive Vigor, World Cheaper now. Allows us to terraform worlds and develop the plants. I even though it did that, that's helpful for the achievement series. What is going on here with Nova Romanian? Immediate situation, Re reformist demands. Ah, this is the origin. And they were also just spamming habitats with literally nothing on them. Also, the crisis can spawn. Don't think they're ready for that. I may have overestimated Stana AI, but we'll see. This game has completely surprised me. I could be completely wrong again. Royal Merlin first, still zero wars. How is this galaxy so much at peace? They've passed Guardians Angels Act, so more peace. Defensive privatization, and they want cooperative research channels. 95 years in, no wars. He's on to 185k. I mean, everyone's catching up to them now. Everyone's just getting fleets. I'm so confused. <laughs> Royal Mill are in pole position at the minute for victory 200k best economy decent number of pops and they're first in the community they do have a lot of planets oh no they did they war no for romanian going back in time i don't think they did i think they were always there okay they just have a lot of planets let's see what the galaxy looks like 100 years in and if the ai's done anything cursed i i don't even know what's going on nothing is nothing is going on they're go, going for minor administrative sanctions they've all got like 200k average okay now the people at the bottom do not have 200k the haves 200k somebody has done the event thing who was it the sonic psionics they can go to the center of the galaxy now here is the year 105 <laughs> what am i saying galaxy we are seeing 300k fleets still no wars this is incredibly stale there's no gap there's no diplomatic ties between empires like sure they're doing a bit of close boarding non-aggression you've got commercial packs but really i was expecting vassals federations there's none of that and like the megacorp person has finally decided to do megacorp stuff on the fishmongers and royal mail royal mail gets postal stuff now it's great for them 110 years in nothing 115 nothing 120 years in we've got 400 k complete powers oh a war one of the awakened empires has come to save us by declaring war on the filthy cyanide hy hyper evolutionary research fields they have one million in power uh yeah the, the other empire does not have much so they're probably gonna die but oh well they're going for minor research sanctions they're just going for all the sanctions which is quite funny 125 years in the awakened empire has spread um they're not declaring another war for now royal mill at 400k arguably the only ones that could stop the zealots but apart from that that. no federations no vassals just everyone chilling passing nice laws like regulated growth 130 years in it's literally more of the same i i, I th this is dumb 135 years and we have a war the awakened empire are attacking nova romanian they're trying to end threat nova romanian go crisis they did they're only tier three though oh it's just a domination goal though from the zealots no they are trying to end their threat okay and darcy dwarves are in a war the fallen empire van foreign so the only wars happening against fallen empires or awakened empires why is this ai being so cursed 140 years in darcy dwarves are alive we have a federation oh my gosh the holy compact has formed darcy dwarves unari council platonic bionic and pacific fishmongers Devoros, and the great reef have all just magically decided to make a massive federation in five years what <laughs> Sonic psionics is the leader it's a holy Covenants are very spiritualist, you know how it is. Nova Romanian are just dying to the Awakened Empire. Rest in peace. Oh, and we have the Scourge. Don't even notice that. Five times 11 million. Yeah, this galaxy screwed. <laughs> we'll see if they can do anything. Maybe they'll death stack up. Who knows? Ten years ahead of the Scourge have not actually pushed out much. The Holy Compact are basically getting everyone in their federation. The Scourge are down 4 million in strength, but I think the Zealots, who had a lot of strength, did a lot against them here. But yeah, they're just spreading slowly but surely they're just bombing and they spread but the ai are starting to death stack up maybe they can do something there's a federation that maybe maybe the federation can do something the 
another 10 years in the future, the seers are just spreading. More people are in the Federation, pretty much the entire galaxy. Seers are down to 6.6, .6, so they've halved the strength. As you know, the seers keep spawning stuff. One of the Uyghur empires are in the Federation. What? Not know this is possible. Is this one of the only Federations that doesn't give you something when the crisis is active? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> That's hilarious. The Royal Mail are down fleet. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. They're probably just sending their ships in slowly but surely they're just losing a lot of their strength. These teams on charge of 624k but they're not gonna help. They've just sat there doing nothing all game. But interestingly we do have a death stack here of AI and down here. Maybe they can stop them because they're just trying to bomb the planets. This is the issue. The AI suck at taking planets. I don't know if this is gonna fix it. Oh and they've got multiple fleets coming in here. I don't think this fleet stack wins here. No. Do they win up here? They do win up here. So you can see they can slowly take them out but i don't think it's going to be enough i don't think they can keep this up but we'll see oh yeah because more ships are going to come in so one fleet at a time sure multiple 400,000s. not really the only hope is steve's entourage their entire fleet power can take on a few of the crisis ships yep and the scourge are spreading i don't think and they're back up to 12 million in, in 70 years sentinels are active but sentinels don't really do too much they're just chilling over here it's not looking good oh dear <laughs> yeah our only hope is if they get to steve's entourage and darsley dwarves that they beam up and kill the skirsh it's not gonna happen is it no 23 million now the more planets to get the stronger they are yep they keep spreading they have met or well, they're near steve oh no they've already fought steve they did not win steve lost this is not good i think it's inevitable what's gonna happen let's just see 200 years in yeah yeah, this is 200 years. And let's just go as far as we can. Let's see if there's a miracle comeback. There was not. There was not. 230 years in. Five times maybe was too much, but the AI have been really, really, really odd. I don't know if I've messed something up, if it's not meant to be simulated like this, or so much customized empires. Let me know in the comments. I'm doing an achievement series at the same time as random stars content like this. So click this playlist here to watch. You can see the ones you haven't seen yet as I've been uploading one a week. Look at, look at that.